lights up. The generation now alive is privileged to see the birth pangs of the birth of a new civilization. Don't be frightened. We mean no harm. And today, a group of scientists overseas say the world government should start preparing an action plan just in case Earth is contacted by aliens. They claim that a branch of the UN should be given responsibility for what they call a supra-Earth affairs and come up with a detailed response for if or when the extraterrestrials arrive. But now the United Nations is getting ready for a contact with aliens from outer space. This is Maslin Offman. She's out of Malaysia. She will be planet Earth's first interstellar diplomat. An incredible story coming out of the Vatican. Listen to this. The senior Vatican scientist said that he would be delighted if we encountered intelligent aliens and would be happy to baptize them. His pronouncement opens up the possibility of space missionaries heading out to the stars to convert aliens to Christianity. Uh, did the Vatican find alien life? You know what, as sensationalistic as that question sounds, it's really not that far off from what we've seen in the news over these last days. The UFO encounters here on Earth. But that's exactly what firefighters are now training for. It's the fire officer's guide to disaster control and said to be found in firehouses across the U.S. The book covers everything from fires to floods, but it's chapter 13 that takes an unusual twist in firefighting techniques titled Enemy Attack in UFO Potential. It would not be remiss to give some thought to the part that fire departments might play in the event of the unexpected arrival of UFOs in their communities. Or is it enough to warrant a UFO education red alert? This is something that could really happen in our lifetime. It even asks, how do you treat injured aliens? Are first responders aware of the potential physical injuries? This is a real phenomena that we should deal with, we should deal with seriously. Sometime later this year or next year, we expect them to announce, astronomers will announce that we found it, the Holy Grail. I think it's premature for us to announce our presence in outer space until we know their intention. Scientists say that they examined all aspects of the search for alien life, from astronomy, biology, to the political and religious fallout that would result from alien contact. And the report also said that evolution on alien worlds is likely to be Darwinian, which may mean that extraterrestrials share our tendencies for violence and exploitation. So basically, when they arrive on Earth, they're probably going to be mean. I'm not kidding. One of the scientists actually said, prepare for the worst. Now, today, from science fiction to science fear, news buzz among some scientists that if aliens do exist, that they're mostly nasty, resource-consuming locusts that would stop at nothing to take what they want and destroy anyone in their way. If intelligent aliens exist, they will look just like us. And given our far from glorious history, this should give us pause for thought. So are they coming to enslave us all? And does this mean we have to change our definition of E.T. from extraterrestrial to evil and terrifying? I believe it was extraterrestrial. I now believe it is interdimensional, uh, the phenomenon. In other words, we're looking at so-called spirit beings from another dimension by equating it to ancient manuscripts where these beings manifested uh, to, to human beings and what their reactions were and then comparing it to reactions present day of people who have had encounters and the similarities are striking. Now, the report also says that if ETs do come from an Earth-like world, they could resemble us. They might have similar biological molecules. So, hey, that could expand the dating pool. But on the chance that there are, are, are aliens out there, which I totally believe there are, I'm going to be with the scientists on this one and say, let's get prepared. What is that on screen? No astronomer has seen this before. Scientists say they're clueless about what it might be. 
Uh, back on the screen, what is it? We don't know. We are stumped. Uh, scientists around the world are saying, what the heck is this object? It doesn't fit any of the profiles of the usual suspects. That's the problem. The usual suspects are comet, meteor, stars, galaxies, stars. planets. How about uh, some sort of alien dealio? You Could buy be. into that? Well, you know, the object is about the size of the Rose Bowl, Rose Bowl Stadium. So it's too small to be a planet or a star or a galaxy. And it's not a comet. There's no gas in the tail of that comet. It's not a meteor because it's not inside the Earth's atmosphere. Uh -huh. So what is it? We're scratching our head. The only thing we can think of at the present time is a once-in-a-lifetime event, the collision of two asteroids in space. We've never seen that before. That's right. A month ago, we spot this little speck doing all sorts of shenanigans that it shouldn't be doing. The Hubble Space Telescope zooms in on it, and we, our jaws hit the floor. At it's that point, we're saying... Thing. Uh, now, it's called the P-2010A2, and you say that's short for... We are clueless. But on the chance that there are, are, are aliens out there, which I totally believe there are, I'm going to be with the scientists on this one and say, let's get prepared. Greetings, citizens of Earth. My people have developed technologies which allow us to throw off of this meteor because it's not inside the Earth's atmosphere. Uh -huh. So what is it? We're scratching our head. The only thing we can think of at the present time is a once-in-a-lifetime event, the collision of two asteroids in space. We've never seen that before. That's right. A month ago, we spot this little speck doing all sorts of shenanigans that it shouldn't be doing. The Hubble Space Telescope zooms in on it, and we, our jaws hit the floor. At it's that it's point, we're saying... Thing. Uh, now, it's called the P-2010A2, and you say that's short for... We are clueless. But on the chance that there are, are, are aliens out there, which I totally believe there are, I'm going to be with the scientists on this one and say, let's get prepared. Greetings, citizens of Earth. My people have developed technologies which allow us to throw off of the meteor because it's not inside the Earth's atmosphere. Uh -huh. So what is it? We're scratching our head. The only thing we can think of at the present time is a once-in-a-lifetime event, the collision of two asteroids in space. We've never seen that before. That's right. A month ago, we spot this little speck doing all sorts of shenanigans that it shouldn't be doing. The Hubble Space Telescope zooms in on it, and we, our jaws hit the floor. At it's that point, we're saying... Thing. Uh, now, it's called the P-2010A2, and you say that's short for... We are clueless. But on the chance that there are, are, are aliens out there, which I totally believe there are, I'm going to be with the scientists on this one and say, let's get prepared. Greetings, citizens of Earth. My people have developed technologies which allow us to throw off our physical forms and travel great distances in the blink of an eye. We are in dialogue with your leaders to help the human race survive its infancy, for we believe in you. We are helping your scientists find cures for diseases which afflict your bodies and helping you to preserve your planet's most precious resources. Many among us wage peace, and one day, with our help, war may be a thing of the past. Our army is a billion strong and growing. We will bring you a cure for many known diseases. We will provide technology that will change the way you live. We will bring peace to every nation on your planet. We are the visitors. We are of peace. all of that, the, the dimensions of physics are such that I would be quite surprised if in the lifetime of people that are 
no older than 30 here, we don't discover some form of life in another universe. So I think there are lots of interesting discoveries, biological, on Earth, and other discoveries in the heavens that those of you who are younger will get to see unfold. You'll have all kinds of problems with them, but on balance it'll be a plus. And it'll make life much more interesting. Could you believe there are videos now of probably angels in the sky? These events are becoming more and more frequent. People are noticing them more and more. Okay, this is more close up. What the heck is that? The generation now alive is privileged to see the birth pangs of the birth of a new civilization.